Hi! Finally have some camera news. If you saw my last post, then you know that uh, there's been some problem getting parts for all the manufacturers, but the, this week we got something new. So Lumix Panasonic came out with the S5D and a new lens. And so that was kind of like the big news for this week. The S5D is not um, uh, an S52D. It's just the S5D. So it's got some uh, upgrades on it, but not a lot. Um, so some people are disappointed. Some people like it. It kind of depends on what you do with your cameras. So that's kind of the news there. Um, what else? Oh, um, October the 14th coming up next week. Fujifilm is supposed to be having an event and there's speculation that there's going to be a new camera, the XM5 perhaps, nobody's really sure, but uh, it's supposed to be on the 14th so if you get a chance to check out their YouTube channel um, you'll probably be able to find out some more information next week. Some new news from Nikon. Um, they're integrating some of their the RED technology. For those of you who haven't been keeping up, Nikon bought RED cinema cameras, so now Nikon has a cinema division, uh, like some of the other major manufacturers. Uh, this was a big one. RED is one of the major cinematography um, cameras for the uh, film industry and TV and stuff like that. But anyway, so now Nikon owns them. So they're in integrating some of their tech and there was a new patent that came out and it looks like uh, they are developing a new s type of sensor. Um, the, uh, they recently, when they uh, Nikon released their um, Z6 III, they had a partial um, global shutter on that sensor, uh, which was new technology, something that hadn't been tried before, so that was kind of like big news. Well, now this new sensor uh, is kind of a, uh, it's part global shutter and part uh, rolling shutter, if that makes it. So it's kind of like the, um, in terms of the technology, like the sensor can tell which part of the sensor needs to be global and which part of it uh, needs to be rolling. Uh, so it will both eliminate blur for like moving subjects and things like that and, uh, and it will also increase dynamic range. So this is kind of like a revolutionary type of sensor. So there again, they're pushing the envelope on sensors. Uh, there's speculation as to where they're going to be placing this new technology. It could be in the new Z9 II that's coming out, but there's also been rumors about a red Komodo Z for the Z mount uh, so we'll have to wait and see where that coming comes in but that uh, that patent is kind of a new thing and it's creating some buzz around that the Nikon Museum in Tokyo has reopened and Nikon and red announced that they are going to be providing cameras and other equipment to the USC film school so that's kind of cool and there's some new Voigtlander uh, lenses that have been, um, I'm not sure if they've been, I think they've been released, not just announced. So yeah, so check them out if you haven't had a, an opportunity. And uh, yeah, that kind of covers it for this week's camera news. Can't wait till for next week to see what Fujifilm comes out with. So bye, have a good week.